Monday's workshop brought together a diverse group of stakeholders representing key organizations from the public and private sectors with the aim of enhancing the coordination and stakeholder engagement for the integration of health concerns into climate change planning and implementation. The Caribbean region faces unique challenges associated with climate change and its far-reaching impact on public health. The workshop was organized against the backdrop of insufficient coordination among sectors and limited stakeholder engagement, impeding the seamless integration of health considerations into climate change planning, resource mobilization, and the programming and execution of projects supported by the Green Climate Fund Caribbean Readiness Project. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George welcomed the collaborative approach, stating that the Ministry of Health cannot do it alone. We note with our data the effect climate change is having on the various diseases and when they occur. We note the increases in vector borne outbreaks within the country and within the region. We see the effects that we get on our gastrointestinal diseases based on the rainfall pattern. We look at our undifferentiated fever patterns through our data and we see the relation with rainfall. So we know it's real. We see what is happening from a health perspective. But in terms of having proper plans to reduce the impact that it's having on health, this is one of the gaps that was recognized. One of the outcomes of the project is the establishment of adequate capacity and networks to support planning, programming, and implementation of the Green Climate Fund Caribbean Readiness Project activities. Paho said the organization was pleased to be lending support to the Ministry of Health in the Green Climate Fund Caribbean Readiness Project related initiatives. Here in the Caribbean are all familiar with the challenges that climate change present, the rising temperatures, extreme weather events such as heat waves and flood, sea level rise, fluctuating uh, rainfall are not just environmental problems, they are health challenges that require our immediate action and collective collaboration. The message is clear, climate change touches every facet of our lives, and if we are to safeguard public health from its impact, we must dismantle silos, cultivate collaboration, and ensure that health is a central consideration in all sectors and in all policies. Monday's workshop was also intended to foster a deeper understanding of the complex relationship between climate change and health and to chart a path towards resilience, sustainability and well-being of all citizens. Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Tessa Inglis, said the Interministerial Climate Change and Health Workshop provided an opportunity for the pooling of knowledge, experience, and resources. There are several important themes to keep in mind, sorry. Knowledge sharing, which is number one. We must foster an environment of open dialogue and information exchange amongst ourselves. Number two, interdisciplinary collaboration. We need to work together seamlessly and recognize the interconnectedness of our various domains. Three, inclusivity. It is crucial that in our efforts here today, we ensure that all voices are heard and all communities are considered. The Interministerial Climate Change and Health Workshop was seen as an event that will chart a course towards a more resilient and sustainable future for St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.